Are you running around all the time trying to feel accepted, liked or waiting for someone to give you some recognition or approval? Can you identify with yourself and honestly say who you are? Do you feel inadequate, especially when you do so much for others and they don't seem to give you the same back? If you or someone you know feels this way, then please stay with me. Hello, my name is Belinda and I'm the founder of Serene Lifestyles, which is an online psychotherapy practice. Waiting to make everyone around you happy is actually not a positive quality. A lot of people mistake this and they think, oh, if I do good in and keep giving, keep giving, keep giving, it will uh, make people like me or it will make me feel accepted in some way or another. Of course, it doesn't make a person terrible. If you feel the necessity to serve others, that's all good and well. But you have to be in a place where you're very confident to be able to do that because a lot of people end up feeling resentful and stressed and they feel bad or they feel inadequate for doing it. And if you are seeking approval or some sort of affirmation to fill you with joy, then what you are actually doing is pleasing others and not yourself. So here are a few tips to help you regain that balance. Tip number one, know your priorities. Be able to distinguish priorities in your mind so you don't always feel so compelled to please other people around you. It is so important to condition your mind so you feel less sensitive to please other people's needs before your own. And you know what to do when you're prioritizing by recognizing your own needs as well as others. So this will help you keep the balance. You've got to be able to um, know that it's not your duty alone to be running around after everyone and doing everything for everyone else. and. It leaves you feeling exhausted, resentful and frustrated because they're not making headway on um, their own goals or what they should be doing, their chores, or whatever it is. And something here is not right. And it's not right about you. It's not them, it's you. And you've got to recognize that. And tip number two, spend time wisely. Time is precious for all of us. Start investing in your own time instead of letting other people spend it for you. If you feel burnt out, you don't have to feel guilty if you take a break. Of course you don't have to feel guilty. If you can't do something, it's okay to ask for help. And it's okay to leave a task pending if you can't manage it all at once. If you feel you're being selfish, then um, and you don't feel you're serving a purpose to anyone else, think about what purpose you're serving to yourself. If you can't say no, then you're constantly falling into the yes to everything, which leaves you feeling overwhelmed and again resentful towards other people, all the tasks that you're doing, which ends up not being done well because you're feeling that resentment. So, and you don't need to worry so much about what others are thinking of you. So you've got to learn to let that go. And tip number three, follow your own rules. If you don't have these rules for yourself of what your expectations are of other people, because it's usually people that want to please everyone else, but then they're expecting a little um, something back, even though they say, oh, well, I'm not expecting them to do that, or I don't, um, I'm not expecting anything back they usually do expect something back. You see, um, everyone has a role to play, whether this is a spouse, partner, um, mother, a parent, carer, uh, boss, whatever the role is, employee, you've got to establish how much you're willing to do for what uh, you should or shouldn't do. And if you keep on giving and giving and giving, the more exhausted you're going to feel, the more run down you're going to feel, the more frustrated and stressed you're going to feel. So remember, rules are negotiable. Understand what it means to be a good friend, a significant other, 
an employee, a boss, or a parent carer and enable other people to give a little back. You see, sometimes we are so used to doing things for others that we're not really satisfied with the way they do things or the time concept and we rather do it ourselves. We are not allowing room for development or learning and then all we are waiting for or wanting is a return in acknowledgement or appreciation. If you want to do something for someone out of the goodness of your heart, of course, do it without anything in return and or any expectation in return. And ultimately, the feeling should be a pleasure when you do do something for someone. These are just a few tips to help you find balance. If you need to talk or you feel the need for further professional treatment, then please book a free strategy call in the link below. And remember, change your mindset and it will change your life. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care of your thinking patterns.